Hello, I'm Chris Parkin. I'm a product reviewer and I've been writing for magazines for 15 years. I also do a lot of video work now and run my own YouTube channel. Thermal imaging is very important to me because when I go out hunting, I want to save time. I want to make sure I'm seeing and observing everything that's going on. I haven't necessarily got time to miss and spend too much time looking through daylight optics. And of course, the ability to use thermal imaging either with monoculars or with rifle scopes means that nothing really goes through my field of view without me noticing it's there. One of the first things that drew me to the Knockpix products is the usability. I'm a big fan of ergonomics and because I use so many products in both night vision, thermal imaging and of course rifles and shotguns as well, I'm often changing between brands and changing between products. I think this gives me a really good ability to picture a product from a new user perspective because with me having to swap all the time, I like products that are easy to use, intuitive, fast to learn, and they don't have too much kind of control language you've got to specifically learn about and get used to. This gives me the ability to look at a new product and immediately see it through the eyes of someone who's perhaps a little bit less experienced and wants something that's got that immediate usability and intuitive control nature to it. Being a product reviewer for magazines meant that up to 15 years ago, I was receiving some of the latest night vision and thermal imaging kit. In the early days, some of it seems in hindsight now incredibly basic and very pixelated, very difficult to use, very boxy and clunky. I compare that now to what we have in, in common use across the Knockpix range and the ability to use it and the controllability is in, unbelievably advanced compared to that. My greatest compliment now is when you look through some of the latest night vision and thermal imaging rifle scopes is that they look and are usable like a regular rifle scope. You've got correct eye relief, you've got a circular field of view, you've got a regular eye box which allows you to have a little bit more versatility with your head in the field of view. And of course, you've got controls that are easy to use with either hand. Things like focusing at the front around the objective body. Being able to do that left or right handed is inclusive for all shooters. Having a crisp focus at the back with what we used to call a fast focus eyepiece. Now we've got a collar that goes around the ocular body. You can make sure that reticle and of course, there's far more information on the screen now that you want in full focus and clearly easy to use. Having focus that goes flat across the screen all the way out to the edges means that you've got a bit more versatility where your eye exactly is within that screen's picture because you don't want to be looking through a tiny little pinprick focal spot that as soon as your head moves even slightly left and right, you've lost that image quality from it. The latest gear from Knockpix is what I've been using most because I found it very intuitive and easy to use. I've used the Bolt Thermal Rifle Scope, which is a very entry level user. I've used the Thermal from the Lumi, which is a monocular that's very light portable. I've got all the range finding capabilities. And of course, my personal favorite is the Quest Bioculars because they allow me to use both the finger as normal to zoom in and zoom out through the field of view so I can close in on objects and of course I've got the focus control like a regular pair of binoculars and it means I'm totally in fast control without having to think about using buttons. It's not like learning a clarinet and having to, you know, to remember to press this button for a long time, that button for a short time. They all control immediately and you've got good use with both hands to use all those buttons and it works just so logically because it's no good having lots of features and functions advertised and made available to you if it's hard to access them or worse still if you accidentally press the wrong button at the wrong moment and completely lose what you were doing which can be at a critical time if you've just seen a fox paps come into view you need to change magnification or you want to set the camera rolling well if you press the wrong button and you lose that opportunity it could be gone for the night could be gone for the week I got the Ace Rifle Scope when it was first launched. It was very interesting to use because it was one of the first scopes that started to integrate all the features we wanted from thermal to make it more ergonomically similar to a regular rifle scope. As well as the human usability, it also means it's going to fit the rifle correctly because of course most rifles and scope mounting solutions are based around that regular rifle scope. So 30 millimeter body tube, you've got ocular zoom at the back here so you can see everything quickly and control it with either hand and then of course you've got image focus at the front like some of the more older objective focus scopes but there's a wing on the top here so you can use it easily from either hand and of course you can turn around and make sure you've got your cap out of the way and that's always going to protect your lens. Having more buttons on top of the back here makes them quickly immediately usable and of course there's the fast focus eyepiece at the back to make sure you've got the screen crisp. 
This is one of the first thermal scopes I used where I found I could get a proper full fingers worth of eye relief and that meant it was usable on larger rifles, not just 17 HMRs and 223s. I could go straight from a 223 through a 243, even a 6.5 millimeter rifle, but I was fine also shooting 30 caliber and even 306 and I got that eye relief and I didn't have a problem shooting from different positions and relying on the fact that it wasn't going to bump me on the eyebrow. I found the programming language straightforward. It was easy to get through the zeroing process and set the scope up as I wanted it. But once I was actually out using it in the field and hunting, all I had to consider was the actual zoom I wanted to get the field of view and the view of the target I found necessary for accurate aiming. That accurate reticle inside meant I could position it precisely where I wanted the bullet to land. One of the things I liked most about the ACE was this big wing on top of the objective focus. If I'm shooting right-handed, I can easily operate it with my left hand, and if I'm shooting left-handed, which is quite common for me to do because I'm quite ambidextrous, I can control that with my right hand. Another fact I like is when you want to charge it or take your photographs off it, you can just rotate that collar into place and it gives you complete access to the USB-C port. You don't have to mess around with small rubber covers, which I do find sometimes get broken too easily and they're just lost in the, in the mist of time, probably in the furrows on a farm track somewhere. I also like the fact that with a two battery system, you've got that overlap. So when you do want to swap your main cell in the side here, it's quick release open up. You can swap that in the dark without any fuss or hassle in less than 30 seconds. And that gives you a full night time of usage and you're not going to lose anything. You don't have to unscrew anything and that cap isn't going to drop off.